Hello everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Chronicle. I am the Black Shadow and last time folks, Lynn has managed to regain her memories folks uh, courtesy of uh, prompt arse uh, handling uh, to the, uh, the Phantom Memo Eater that had apparently been hiding inside her head somehow. Uh, but anyway, we, we finished that bloody thing off and uh, Lynn has started regaining her memories and uh, the emphasis to go back to the lighthouse has been further reinforced, folks. Uh, so we've got a not too far to go until we get there now. Um, in the off this ice screen, folks, I said I would do. I have been upgrading some weaponry, uh, mainly Max's. Uh, Max's wrench, you see here, I've given a couple of abilities here. I've given it the um, the wealth, um, so it gets 30% more uh, money if it kills something. And I've also given it the uh, ABS up. Again, I think that's 30%, um, so that should help in the long run, because this weapon I'm going to be keeping until the end, or that and its, you know, its, its evolutions of, sort of thing. Um, the Durak gun, I actually managed to get to a point where it could be built up um, to the next weapon, folks, which is this, the Question Shooter. So, say goodbye, Durak, and say hello to that, the Question Shooter, folks. It's, uh, it interrogates the enemy, enemy folks. And what is that? Is that, um, is that poverty? I think it is actually. Oh, crumbs. Let me check that out. I think that's, uh, I didn't realize. Has that got the poverty stat on it? That's not good. Let's have a look at this, folks. Let's check. Yeah, it's po poverty. Whoops. I, um, ugh, I didn't realize that, folks. I, 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 I really didn't. Uh, okay then, folks. Uh, well, that's not good. So that's actually going to lose money whenever we get a kill, folks. So when we next get that uh, leveled up, um, I am going to uh, to um, give that to one of the wealth coins just so we can um, give the uh, the thing back and put uh, take just to take poverty off of it um, because that is not really ideal. We don't like negative things on our weapons, folks. But now that we've gone past the Yorda Valley. Um, the Starlight Canyon maps are now a little bit different. You see, folks, instead of being high on ridges now, we're actually, um, on sort of ground floor, um, now, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't know quite what prompts changed, but, uh, but yeah, folks, so the maps are a bit different now. We're now actually, um, underneath folks, which is kind of cool, I guess. Ooh, what is that? Wind element, folks. Oh, instead of we've had the uh, fire and ice elements, this is the new one, the wind element, folks, which are literal tornadoes. So they'll fire wind magic at us. So I can then fire straight back at the priest of Rama, ironically. Oh, Christ. He just healed himself, you scumbag! As did the wind element. What are you all healing yourselves for? That's not fair. Hit him. I can't hit him! Fine, I'll do it that way. Pieces of rubbish. Yeah. You got the wind element. Really did. <laughs> Good season. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Uh, so I, I felt I felt that coming for about 20, 30 seconds. I was wondering if it was going to get there or not. Apologies for that. There may be more. You never know. Still mimics you. Sit down. I said sit down. Whoa, camera going a bit dodgy. I might actually try to get some uh, hits on this with the. Um, try and get some kills with the arm out of the user. There we go. Uh, being the fact it's a wind element means if you've got anything with uh, a, a high lightning element, that's what you're looking for to do the damage. Like, as far as arm are concerned, uh, they'd be pretty good. Grab all of these. Yeah, so the fact's now we're down on the ground level. This is why you can do fishing here. And lots of it as well, actually. There's loads of fishing that you can now do. And whoa, look at that. And also, you'll start finding as well, there's a lot less of, like, breaks in the uh, in the map. Like, going on paths, you know, like, beforehand. Like, even there's, like, there's a, there's a, a 
high wall in the way, or if there's actual break in the actual pathway, no bridges, that sort of general thing. That's a mess, surely. Really? A bit fortunate there, folks, but it uh, didn't give me anything really actually useful in the end, anyways, folks. Oh well. So we can try our little question shooting now, folks. You see, it's like a proper ray gun, this. Fires blue lasers now instead of all oh, freaking green ones. Now, I'd argue that might be... I think that's actually slightly electrical. Is that got like an electric element to it? I think it does. Huh. Yeah, it's got a lightning element to this, folks. I, 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 I wasn't aware that it did. I wonder if the um, if the Durag gun had like maybe a, a wind element to it. I, 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 I do not know, folks. I, I literally don't. And look at that, folks. You see, that's the um, that's the ABS plus sort of starting to kick in here. You see, it's sort of going out, sort of uh, bluish there, and it will actually drop more experience now, which is quite useful. It's quite handy as well if you want to kill things like that and then change over to certain, like either monster transformation or uh, or whatever else, uh, just for the purposes of actually, um, uh, you know, uh, like for boosting certain things and having ABS on the weapon you're killing with in the first place, you know, can't hurt. So this should do damage. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I... Yeah, that is really... That's actually really good. But hey, I mean, you, I mean ray guns are, are inherently pretty decent weapons. You know, they, they've always have been and they always will be, I suspect. Oh, I can open this up. Yeah, even more crystals. I've got so many crystals now, it's ridiculous. And I mean loads. I really do. It's a little bit terrifying. I don't know if you guys have seen my actual, um, my actual, uh, stats. Stats, my, my inventory, but the amount of crystals I've got is a, a bit of a frightening amount. That is, that is seriously good. <laughs> no, but it's, I suppose it's not too bad, I suppose, the fact we're, you know, we're just making our way through. Unfortunately, folks, at this point, there is just a little bit of, of legwork that's got to be done here. There's not really any particular way around it. Uh, it's just one of those things that we've just got to just do a bit of work and stuff to just, just cut our way through. There's not really uh, much, much to be done about it. There's just uh, a lot of killing that's got to be done. Yeah, you get this sometimes in games, you know, like RPGs, you know, even like in the Final Fantasy games you've done, where there's just like really long dungeon areas, and there's just loads of random battles, you know, coming up, and, you know, when I've done those LPs, generally it's not so bad, because you guys, you don't see it so much, because I, um, I do cut, you know, I, I do a lot of editing on, like, Final Fantasy LPs, folks, um, and, you know, I suppose I could argue I, I'm doing perhaps a similar sort of thing for this game now as well, bloody hell, as well. But, uh, you know, I don't really see too much of the, um, the merit in it, you know, so much, because the, the battles don't take that, you know, to kill that maybe it's only a few seconds, so, whereas, like, you know, you think in Provence, you know, you've got, you know, the little transition into the battle, the battle starts, you've got to fight it, you've got to kill it, and the state of screen afterwards, and loads of things, I'm just going to run past this so I can open up the chest first. You know, it's a much more longer process, really, so I don't think it's, it's quite worth it. That's just me. I know people that, that um, do LPs and watch shows that don't believe in cutting anything like that out in the first place. Um, you know, which is fine, you know, everyone's re everyone's different. Different methods and ways of running their LPs, and I've been them for three All years right. now, so, that kind takes of, care so of you I guys. like it. That is a weird looking gun. Oh, we got a... I didn't see what that was. Okay, then. Um... Where is this going? 
I don't know, folks, where this is going, but um, as I don't know, um, I can make a rough guess. If that makes any sense. Um, best thing to do here in a situation, the great thing with being down here, folks, I forgot, is that there's lots of these really long, straight areas. You can just hit them down, and you've got complete safety in playing uh, these kind of shots, folks. Complete and utter safety. Um, unless you, like, really, really overhit things. But you, I can hit this a fair distance, and there's no real worry of this coming off. Unless you get a nasty bounce from Rock. Oh, there it is, over there. Um, we're not going to hit that from here. I'm actually... I tell you what I might do. I'm actually going to knock this down further on this path. And just... Uh, and just just get a bit closer to, to, the, to the thing, just so I can play a bit of an easier shot. Yeah, do note though, um, the ground is a little bit bumpy, um, so you can certainly get a bit of variance on where you land. Ooh, that's a bit awkward. Trying to drop these short is so awkward. Need to hit this sweetly, which I haven't. Oh dear. May not carry, may not carry, may not carry, does not carry. But now it's at least hit something and it's gone red. So at least now I can play the more aggressive shot, folks. And I have kind of learned good way to play the like if you're trying to hit something in without it bouncing hit the ball like get that the arc as low as it can and just wallop it and just really really wallop it folks and hopefully because of the trajectory you've got much more margin for error um, because the height doesn't change much you know you can afford to hit it a little bit less powerful a little bit more powerfully and the odds are you're still going to get the hit with distortion, folks. That's the trick I've learned, um, is to ri just just hit it, just, just take it low and just hit it hard. Um, or harder, perhaps, than you think you might need, because, again, you've got the um, you've got a, a much bigger margin for error for, uh, for playing those sort of shots. So so that's good, and that's probably the last one I'm probably going to end up doing on this video. The rest I'm probably going to edit out. Ooh, look at that. Another level up powder. That's really good. Like I say, even if you don't use them much, I mean, they really, the level up powers, you want to be keeping those for end game. Like, really, really back end of game, folks, when you're, like, dealing with ultimate weapons and, or getting up to ultimate weapons. And obviously, the amount of experience you need for those is huge to get level up. That's where those things are really, really good to have, um, you know, because it makes life a lot easier. What was the call for here? Oh, I actually defeated it in, uh, in in a quick time. Oh, I didn't realise that. I, I didn't even pay attention. Again, it's a small map, folks. Um, so it's quite possible you, you can, uh, you know... There's small maps, especially even for like when you're in the canyons itself. Um, you know, odds are you can still beat the time. And again, because there's so little of, like, paths being broken or anything like that, it makes that a lot easier. Nature's fret, eh? Well, that's about... Well, that's a nice bonus. And whoa! That's a funny looking map. Oh, the egg. That's new. Don't see a map like this very often. We, yeah, you very see a map like this. I mean, it's like we're in the middle of it and it cuts down both ways. It's much more akin to what we're used to seeing, folks. It's um, very rare to see one that ends up actually start like this. Yeah. This hit the start like Canyon. Very unusual. Not sure. Oh, I did get that. Very good. Good work, Shadow. More priests. I don't know what he was trying to do. I think he was trying to heal itself, but if that was the case, that was a horrendously poor decision. <laughs> no. Hey, don't you heal yourself! No, you permission. No, I did not. It will get harder, folks. Don't you worry. It will get harder, folks. The, the, 
the, the, the game's just hard when you take on enemies that are just harder to hit in the first place. That's where the game gets all good. When you can hit them, it's not, generally not so bad. It's when you, you, you struggle to hit them in the first place. That's where the game starts getting all good. And we'll have those situations a lot more later on. But, you know, considering we've just got to do lots of fighting now here, perhaps having it this sort of way, you know, it's not so bad. Perhaps it's uh, of benefit. There we go. Weird hitting enemies, though, than turning blue. I'm not sure I even like that. Oh, we got another dragon, folks. We get Monica, the dragon slayer out here. She'll know what to do. Is this going to fire? Yeah, it's okay. Where's it going? Where's it think it's going? Ow! I'm assuming it does more than just slashing away like that, but uh, I'm really not interested in trying to find out. Meanwhile, uh, the Rypod... Yeah, again, because you say you can't have, like, you know... It's a bit weird, actually. It doesn't even look like Steam at all, does it? The, the, the old one had like at least a face. This is actually like a, a minecart that's just been adapted. Weird, actually. Hey, where do you think you're going? Cool. You eat me. Do not desire to be eaten by a rock. Harsh, because that doesn't even make freaking sense. <laughs> Don't you make faces at me, that will pop up. But yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy. Well, I wouldn't say it's easy as such as folks. I mean, I know I'm, I make it look easy sometimes. I remember I've played these games a lot. That and I really do. Oh, oh, it, oh, Dando, it has fire breath, which causes first, and I've been stopped. Oh my god. Okay, that's what they can do. They can hit you and cause stop. That's why you have these things. Oh, we can use my heal, which I'm going to do. Which will cure the status effects, folks. Um, oh dear. There was a little brick down here. That's the problem. Should we try again? He stopped me again, you bastard! What do you think you're trying to play here, son? You think you're trying to be clever, eh? Think you think you're something? I'll tell you what, you're nothing. Yeah. Four repair powder. Again, folks, getting carried away with using the sword and everything. I need to remember to use the armbar, especially the fact we've got Limbus as well. Yeah, I know you've got all these little um, walkways here, folks, but in regards for Sphere, I mean, anyone who's brave enough to try and drop a. Uh, ooh, here you are. Thanks. Um, anyone who's brave enough to try and drop a sphere onto those boards and keep it there, uh, hats off to you for the bravery. <laughs> Commend you for that. Ooh, dear. Whee, I don't really want to deal with that anymore now. I'm a little bit scared of these guys. Not scared, just a bit. So the first one, we he healed himself! The first one we absolutely dismissed, so... Oh, wow! That is a new item we just picked up off of it as well, folks. Um, something that we, we sort of touched upon earlier, but here's a new item for you, folks. Escape Powder. Um, the same as what Palm will have, uh, his actual ability. Allows you to escape the dungeon for free, because if you try and leave it before a dungeon, before killing all the enemies, it will cost you half your money. Yes, I just said half. A lot. I need to find somewhere else to put this freaking receiver, folks. Put it down there. Out the way. You can't even do anything with it. It just takes up the space. Do 
gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, look at what you're gonna do. You're gonna get yourself killed. Too bad. Looks like we got them all. Right then, folks. What I'm gonna do is... Wow, that's... I'm making that really easy. Um, is I am gonna go and I'm gonna place the sphere um, for this floor. Oh, my goodness me. That's not good. Ah, now this is a uh, this is an interesting little spot. Uh, there is one problem that you will find sometimes with theatre, folks, and that is the um, I don't quite know. I'm not sure anyone quite knows how the calculations are made by the game for how many shots you sometimes need to succeed in theatre to like you know to get from the sphere to the point. But sometimes the counting goes a bit off. And that generally occurs in situations like this, where it's actually the distance is really close, but the actual, um, yeah, this is a situation where Sphere is not so fun because the calculation goes a bit off. I mean, to hit this in two is going to be an achievement. I'm not sure how. Can I? I'm not sure I can do this. There is one little trick that you can employ, folks. I have to get this perfect. And I mean perfect. This has to, like, sit on the edge. Oh, that might not be enough. One thing you can do with spheres, folks. You see how we, we can't see it there, really. One thing you are allowed to do with spheres is if they like land in a really dodgy place, you're allowed to press the square button and you're allowed to move the sphere to you. Now, this normally costs a penalty shot. However, the game is generous enough that if you've only got one shot left, folks, you are allowed to move it once for free. Um, but only once. Now, can I get this to a point where I might, e I might be able to swing this round? There we go. I think it's about as close as we're going to get is that. Now you see from there, this is this is this is uh, possible. See, this is where slicing and hooky comes into it. And at this point, I might have half a chance here of getting this right. Oh, this is awkward. We need to slice this to swing it right, and it needs to be sharp, sharp swerve. So um, I'm going to hit it there, and I'm going to hope. I'm get this right so get the power first always I think get the power you want first then as the arrows go into the end and then go backwards that's where you select your spin go with what your power is first so if we need about half bar I think so heavy slice touch a backspin I hope you're lucky oh yes very happy really need a, some sharp swerve on that but I'm happy with that But yeah, sometimes the game will do that and it will make it really awkward. On occasion, you might find that the amount of shots the game will give you, you just cannot do it, folks. You just cannot make it. Um, ooh, a new gem there, turquoise. You just simply cannot make it to the end, folks, um, to the, with the amount of shots it gives you. It, sometimes that happens. Um, you know, and it, it kind of sucks when it does. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to quickly go off screen and I'm just going to walk away to the end because it's going to take a moment. So I'll be two seconds. Right, so here we are, the, uh, the, uh, the condor's perch, so... Ooh, the voice could be fun, aren't <coughs> There, that's a bit better, I think. Still that same one, isn't it, with the weird thing that's on her head? Moon Baron! Oh, this can be fun. Uh... Ah, yes! So you decided to hold a fishing tournament. Well, with all that's been going on, I think the townspeople have had a lot to worry about. Hopefully a bit of fishing will take their minds off it. <laughs> that's our mayor. What a brown noser. Yes, folks. From now on, fishing contests will be held at fixed intervals in game time in Palm Brinks Town Square. When the contest ends, the next one will begin after a 10-day interval. 
When a fishing contest is being held, it'll be in so indicated at the top left of the main menu. Yeah, folks. Um, a new thing we can start playing with in Palm Brinks is fishing contests, folks. And yes, it is something partly to do, obviously, with, with fishing in general. Um, and yeah, folks, see that? You see that will start coming up now on the topics, folks. Um, the yeah, time to the new fishing contest. Fishing contest, 52 hours uh, to go. So you know, if you guys are interested in doing that sort of thing, then you know, that's that's good. Forgot that happened. There. I didn't think it happened until the end of the uh, the actual dungeon. But I don't know. That's no, that, yeah. That that was. Just you enemy here, folks. The Crescent Baron. It's kind of cool. A bit weird, but uh, hey ho. Sit down, mate. You didn't get. You didn't get knocked down. You bugger. Okay. Right, okay, then let's do that, folks. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, as well, uh, one other thing, I want to just go and, oh, before I do that, is I was upgrading Max's wrench, um, and you see here, I've actually upgraded, I've got to a point now, it can be built up um, to this, the, the cubic hammer. Um, now, this is like, you know, like the Kubera's hand that we found earlier, this is kind of like, I think this is like a, a further advancement of that. But I'm not interested in that one. I didn't know which one of these I actually needed, and I chose the wrong one. We actually need to upgrade to this one here, um, which is extra lightning and beast. So yeah, but you can you can get to, to the um, cubic hammer from here. Oh my god! Shoot it! Shoot it! Because it's ridiculously good. Yeah, that is seriously good. Even that. Look at that, folks. It might be a little bit why, actually, because the Holy Gem runs, when you actually get the stuff, it's actually dealing in, um, in wind magic, actually. Um, so that might have something to do with it. Second time now this has happened in this LP, folks, and I've just got a runny nose in the midst of it. Really annoying. Oh, these guys again. These guys are annoying. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. But yeah, the great thing of these maps, folks, is that you basically just run all the way down one side, then just come back the other. Uh, because there's just no breaks in anything. It's really useful. How many of these things am I going to get to fly? Ow! Again. Oh, yes, of course! Oh, goodness me. Of course. The, um, yeah, you see, 49 hours. Obviously, that wasn't actually, um, uh, you know, three hours have passed. It's three in-game hours, which is like a, about a minute or whatever. Um, yes, of course, folks, now that we've got the question, we've got one, we can now go and... Ooh, I'll explain that in a second. Um, we can now go and... Um, go and party. So if I give it the wealth coin, we spectrumize one of them. No, spectrumize one of them. And if I now attach this, you see it would change its abilities. And because we've got poverty, it erases it. It doesn't actually give me uh, um, the wealth ability itself. I'd have to give it another coin. But, you know, it's not too bad. Although, I'm actually going to give it the absorption coin as well, actually. So we can now start getting health back by shooting things, which is handy. It's handy to have. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt. So that'd be quite useful. What else does it need? Yes, this is, um, now this is where, when you start getting towards the later end of um, upgrading weapons, folks, this start happening. Um, not only must you start um, uh, improving the stats of your weapons, you must also start defeating one of a certain enemies, folks. And basically, I think this is partly a control measure, so you can't just, like, get really super weapons really early in the game, folks. It's kind of a way of limiting, because Heat Fairies and Rifle Wolves, we have not met either of those yet, folks. So it's a... Uh, it's a way of trying to, to limit that um, in a way, so you don't get too far ahead of yourself. Um, so you know that's that's fine with me. I'm not too worried by that. Um, yeah, give it to one of these. Why not? While I'm here. Um, so you'll start seeing that happening a little bit more um, as time goes by. Um, all the weapons will start getting these, and as you get to like the really, 
really old weapons, folks. You see, starts against some pretty, pretty rare enemies, but uh, you know, on the black shot, I'll be able to tell you where all these things are in time. That was fit. That was sickingly powerful. That was sickingly powerful. <laughs> I think that was two critical hits in a row. It's the only way I can explain that amount of damage. All those, thank you. I'm assuming this doesn't work. Well, I've got to hit the thing first, haven't I? Ugh. Instead of that, it's interesting. Ah. That's just so good. What is that? Is that another one of those? Oh, it is. Yeah, it looked like something else there down the back for a moment. Use the height. Oh, that works! Oh, that's interesting! So, by hitting things with the rocks, that still works. Oh my god, oh goodness! Oh, this could be fun. Ah, that hurts! Those things are really weak to that laser. Good grief. No, what are you doing? That's it. Falcon punt it. There we go. I say that the, these things will still do a lot of damage to you if you give them a chance. No, it really is a case of, of just killing them before you give they give you much of a chance to hit you back. That's what largely doors down to. Oh, I thought I'd be able to get that. Level. Really? Thanks. Get the stuff first. Thank you. That's not effective, is it? That's that's not doing a whole lot at all. Oh my goodness. That could that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt the kids. Like that! Like that! Goodness gracious! They hurt. I don't care what you're doing, what you're playing. Ow! Thanks for that. We need to start getting some of these heart from cherries from like, um, uh, thingy, uh, from, uh, you know, the, the, our priest guy from his name now. Yeah, the church guy. I can't think of his name. What's his name? I forgot his name. It's completely escaped me what his name is. I don't know, folks, but at any rate, we need to go that. We need, we need to start buying some. Wait, does he sell? No, he doesn't sell those, does he? So, uh, we've got someone that sells um, I'm sure. It might be, um... It might be, uh... Junior, actually. Wow, any curse happens, that's nice. Yes. There we go. Very nice. Right, well, uh, yeah, I think that might be, uh, in order right. to get hold of some cherries. You or you could go to, um, we could go to Granny Rose, and she has the anti-stop, um, amulets, which I suppose you could consider actually, um, equipping for this, um, for these few levels, actually. Oh, we've got Monica on the poison amulets, but not many things really poison at this point, so I, I could probably consider taking her off those and giving them somewhere else, perhaps? Don't know, folks. Don't know. Alright, and then... Ooh, that's... Um, now, this is uh, this is one more type of sphere that I actually am going to show this off. I know I said I'd probably stop showing these, but it's bringing up interesting little points here. This is another one which is kind of a bit of a pain sometimes. Is... Um, 
It's it's nice when the game decides to be generous and say put the sphere and the distortion really close to each other. The problem is is when they're the same colour. And you got one shot. This is where this can be a significant problem, folks, because of course you can't just hit it in because it will repel. You need to you need to be able to, in the short distance that you've got, um, find a way to actually change the uh, the properties of the sphere. You need to get it to get a heavy bounce at some point or another, folks. Um, which you, you can't always just look at like hang it off a side because you know it's very unpredictable, especially here, folks. So, my general advice is this: hit it up into the air. You know, to try and sort of drop it nearby and lots of top spin. Lots of top spin. And hopefully you won't overhit it. Oh I have done, haven't I? Oh really? Oh, I've overhit it. The idea is that it drops sort of shortly in front. The, the the amount of bounce that it has means it will certainly change colour and then the top spin just flies it forward. Because you can't just hit if you the problem is if you just hit it at the standard angle, folks. Um, it's possible you just simply won't hit the sphere hard enough so it bounces too softly and it won't change colour. Which does happen sometimes, but I've, I've made a mess of that. Oh, on it. Uh, oh, I hate... I kind of... It's, it's like the game... It's like being generous to fault with you, but it's it's really not. It's really not, folks. Oops, sorry if there's a little click there up on the, uh, the audio there. Apologise. Alright then folks, so that's three down, one more to go before we uh, we'll bring this video to an end. You know, it's just a matter of just, just, just battling our way through really, um, through several floors, which you do have to do sometimes. I remember at the start of Canyon, it does have it, it, it drags a tad bit long. The lighthouse appears folks, the last one, which means one thing folks. Cool music time! I'm always partial to a bit of cool music, folks. The lighthouse is... Whoa! Bloody hell, that's early! Hell, the lighthouse is on the horizon, folks. We are nearing our goal. On the final stretch. It's, it's making the game look a tad easy at the moment. It really is having these weapons. But it, it's honestly... Does this stagger to uh, rocks? Oh, it does. Uh -oh. Ooh, this is a 50 spot. Thanks for putting first on me, mate. Well, you're not even a mate, you're just an arse. STOP GUARDING! Ah, oh, you annoying little scumbag. Look what you've got and done, you're trashing my equipment. Appreciate it. Right, let's quickly re rebuff these up. There we are. Ooh, this is a bit weird. We've got the height of it's not really a height advantage, but uh, uh, You turn your back on the black shadow. Are you mad? Do you do you have a death wish, sir? Never turn your back on the black shadow, folks. Never turn your back on the black shadow. That's all I'm gonna say. That is the lesson. That is today's lesson. Never to another one of you guys. Oh, 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 bloody hell! Steve, if you'd be so kind, eliminate this sucker. That, that's what I pay you for. Yeah, look at that extra defence on the uh, on the body. Makes a really nice difference. I mean, Steve is almost nothing short of being a tank in the world. A tank with um, cannibal arms. Yeah, that kind of tank, folks. Oh, my thing's broken. Yeah, bye. The thing's 
a lot of defense actually is the ride pod folks actually, if we if we um we add it up I mean, how much has he got at the moment 42 wow, that's, that's 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 good that's seriously good there is it no but you're quite finished Yeah, if you move out the way, they'll roll past you. If you just stand there, they'll just keep hitting you up against you. Oh, I love this music so much. Enemies left, right, and centre over here. Ah, oh, the bastard stopped me again! a fiddly little spot. Stop doing that! I'm going to run out of these things soon. Um, I don't even have any... Uh, I don't even have any even pop back in. 257 damage. You did just see that, right? Believe me, folks, the game did not lie there. That was a horrendous critical hit. There's a huge amount of damage. 257. Oh. That's got, uh, that could be our highest amount of damage we've done in a single hit so far. By about, just about anything. That is a nasty shot. Deep breath shot. Deep breaths. That is, uh, that, that is really annoying now. I'm not enjoying being stopped. It's not part of the fun of games. You turn your back on me as well. These guys just don't learn, do they? I saw that one coming. Ow. Oh, Max, you're in a spot of bother here. Maybe I, I'm tempted to bring... Um, I'm actually tempted to bring one of them around now. You've run out of bread for the man. You run out of bread, I mean, you know, something's not gone to plan. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to change over. Here's the spring moniker in, I think. Uh, discretion be a bit of that. I'm not too sure I'm going to do without these things, though. So that's just not effective. You have to throw magic at them, I guess. Yeah, that works. I can live, <laughs> I can live with that. Oh, really? Oh, look at the damage! Look at the damage! Oh, I can't get enough of that. I don't know what that's doing with a rolling block, but never mind. This is just fast and efficient work now. And the only real way I can properly describe it is fast and efficient. Stun the dragon. No, stun the dragon! Oh, goodness sakes. Might be able to actually use it against that, actually. Oh, that's alright. That's a bonus. Ow! A war going on here at the moment. That, f that thing hit my first a bit more, but now at least we can make the tasty waters anyways ourselves. So it's not so bad. Well, somehow that didn't. 
stop on me. Never a guarantee that it will actually hit these things. Never a guarantee. But huzzah, folks! We are there. We have done it. Looks like we got all four all. floors cleared. Lovely. A little bit hectic, maybe towards the end, but uh, but no, I think we've done all right at all in all. See the distortion there on the far right, folks. Where's the sphere? Got no idea, folks. But uh, I, as I said, I am gonna go and have a crack with. Oh, there it is. There, yeah, folks. Oh, not another one. You see again, it's it's another situation where. What do you now? now th what do you do here, folks? If this is a one sphere shot. We're in trouble because there's nowhere beforehand we can drop it. Uh, we can try and drop this short. No, there's nothing to land beforehand. Oh, the game's given us two. That's, that's nice. The game understands that one's going to be just a little bit awkward, to say the least. Um, okay, then. Best thing to do, then, as I say, is if you've got that, just every time, keep it simple, folks. Just drop it in there. Don't you do anything particularly special with a touch of backspin, actually, because I've overhit it a bit. Oh dear. Good thing it bounced and turned blue. If that had gone red, we'd have been in trouble. And like I said, folks, nice and flat and what of it. Don't overhit it completely. Because you'll do that. <laughs> oh, Shadow. Oh, Shadow. What a mess you made of that one. Um, I, I, I feel like I might be better off just editing that one out. So you guys might not never know that happened, but... Um, yeah, um, uh, I'm willing to show that to sh the dangers of underestimating sphere to folks will fail. Yeah, that's a uh, bit of a disaster, to say the least. <laughs> All right, folks, so let's get this um, last uh, giant meat out. We'll do this. Um, we will um, head on out of this level, folks. And all that remains before us, folks, is the lighthouse on the Cape. We have finally made it here. Um, we have finally made it here with Lynn. Um, and like we say, folks, uh, I don't know, I, I, Crest is dead. Um, although Lynn still seems adamant about heading to the lighthouse in order to save him. Um, but I thought he was dead. Isn't he? I don't know, folks. But next video, folks, we will be making our way to the lighthouse. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you there.